This winter, we've been seeing what king tides can do when coupled with a big storm surge. And in Washington, experts with the Department of Ecology studying sea level rise are learning from these events to help coastal communities cope. Tim Gordon has more. What a winter with the annual king tides rolling in the highest tides of the season. In one notable instance, happening at a stormy time that added to the surge, bringing seawater flooding and even jellyfish to downtown Olympia. It is these types of events ecology experts say show what to expect in coming years and decades. So they give us a real glimpse of uh, what sea level rise would look like in the future because what those are are the highest tides of the year um, and typically will, will be associated with coastal flooding. These four men are involved with learning what to expect in the near and long term and how to adjust to protect Washington's 56 cities and counties that have marine shorelines. We know that uh, there are about 14,000 structures and homes that are uh, could be at risk of coastal flooding by, by 2050. Washington's Department of Ecology has been studying the state's changing coast for many years, how the change is connected to climate change and even tectonic shifts. The state works with local leaders to mitigate the damage now and in the future. Case in point, an $88,000 grant for Pacific County, home to the Long Beach Peninsula, to help come up with a protection plan there. We're looking at inundation hazards and, you know, do existing shorelines and uh, different assets in their community that they need to protect and how to plan for those while doing their best to engage the community. These experts say with sea levels expected to rise about a foot in the next 80 years, working with coastal communities is key. And it's really encouraging and inspiring, I would say, of the, the communities that are working on this, both from a planning perspective, all the way down to designing on the ground projects that uh, address the existing hazards, but with a future looking lens. Tim Gordon, KGW News.